What is going on guys, this is Simon from Shanghai. For the last three decades, China has experienced some tremendous growth. Our GDP has increased from less than 20 billion all the way to 12 trillion, making us the second largest economy in the world. China has also taken a huge leap in multiple areas, such as public transportation, education, healthcare, telecommunication, and artificial intelligence. However, there's one place people think that we are still lagging behind, that is, the political system. Long time ago, some experts from the West predict that when the economy starts picking up, democracy is inevitable. However, look at us today. Whatever we have, I won't call it In fact, we are heading to the completely opposite side. So why China hasn't taken a pass to the That is a very complicated question. As an average Chinese guy, I don't think I'm capable of answering that. And also, I'm not allowed to answer this type of question, you know. However, I can tell you why a lot of Chinese people do not like democracy, just like my uncle. Now, a little bit more background about my uncle. He's a small business owner, he likes Huawei's product, he supports most of the government policy, including building a firewall on the internet and social media censorship. He thinks that they are necessary for the stability of the country. He also believes that U.S. and other West countries are bullying China by initiating the trade war. My uncle and I are very close, so we talk about politics all the time. He summed up five key points of why he didn't think democracy is the way we should go. In fact, my uncle is not alone. There are hundreds of millions of people who share the same view as him, including professors working for the top university and students from overseas. You can also find them on West social media, such as Twitter, YouTube, and Quora. Point number one, they believe that the last three decades of massive development has proved that the current system is working very well. No other kind of political system could ever achieve that kind of growth within that short period of time. Japan, South Korea, United Kingdom, Germany, their economy used to be way ahead of us, but now we have surpassed them all. Therefore, they think that there is no need to change the current system. Point number two, democracy can bring prosperity. My uncle always says, take a look at those democratic countries such as Greece and France. One strike after another strike, no wonder their economy is declining. The democratic system will make people lazy and only focus on their own benefits instead of seeing the bigger picture. Point number three, that's a popular one. People are not ready for democracy yet. We still have a huge number of people who are lack of education. Therefore, they don't think that it is a good idea to involve everyone in making the decision for the future of the country. It's better to leave the top leaders to decide where we should go, since leaders all graduated from a great college and some of them even have earned PhD. Point number four. My uncle believes that people will always have different views and democracy won't be able to solve the issue. It only makes things worse because people from different sides will keep arguing against others and if no side is willing to step back, then it will eventually lead to a political impasse. He says that it is exactly what is happening in the United States where people have spent years of arguing whether they should build a high-speed railway line in California without making any real progress. Whereas in China, in the last decade, we have built an 18,000 miles long high-speed railway system. Now we have more high-speed railways than the rest of the world combined. Therefore, apparently, it proves that our political system is way more efficient than the West. Point number five. This one is also very common. They think all political system is essentially the same. People with connection and money will always stand on the top of the pyramid and people without them will have to stay at the bottom. The hierarchy will always exist no matter what kind of system we choose. In China, all social media is strictly controlled by the government. In the West, they believe the government is also closely monitoring its people's online activities. Corruption is a big issue in China, but in the West, corruption also exists. China may rank number one on the number of the death penalty, but in the West, there is a huge number of gun violence. Therefore, they come to the conclusion that democracy is no better than us. Okay, those are the five very popular viewpoints among a lot of Chinese why they don't want democracy. 
If you have ever talked with some pro-government Chinese, it is very likely that he or she has the same point I just covered. I'm going to end my video right here. What do you think about their point of view? Do you agree or disagree? Okay guys, I think that's it for today's video. If you like my video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you want more content about China, foreign Chinese, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, peace.